Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. We're here at the uh, Triple Creek Wild Fest 2020. Got Gavin Street here. Hey guys. Steve's on the camera. We're going to film all three of us flying it a little bit. I got a 5,000 pack on the, uh, Steve, you want to get it on the 1800 millimeter Ranger there. And uh, Steve, if you want to pan around at everybody, just kind of go to your right there and just kind of get a pan of everybody. They're training over there. And uh, you can see the crowd. It's a nice big crowd. We got some free giveaways from Horizon Hobby and FMS Models, and Horizon gave us a, an otter, bind and fly, twin otter, uh, with the uh, floats. FMS gave us a, uh, a uh, MOA glider. Horizon also gave us four flight simulator 9.5s with the dongles for everybody to give away and so forth. So, um, I want to win all those. You want to win all those? Mm -hmm. All right, well, just got to try your luck. I'll give you my ticket, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're here at the Watt Fest and we're going to go fly. You ready, Steve? Let's hit it. We've got tons of planes set up and we haven't flown a thing. So, Rangers all set up. Oh, I got high, medium, and low on everything. That's high elevator. Yeah, Medium and low, remember? I usually keep it at 100% is good. So, right, left, up, down. All right, let's go. Let's taxi on out here. Taxiing out. Taxiing out. Got a bit of a crosswind here. Oh, look at that logo, Steve, on the front of the, on the uh, main, uh, on the runway there. That's cool. Let's see what we got here. All uh, right, we don't need this whole runway. We'll take off here. To... Take it off! Yeah, it does. It does sound a little vibration-y. I see this guy coming in with his aerobatic deal. Yes, it does. Yeah, it is a little windy out here, isn't it? No stabilization in this plane, guys, so we're doing this uh, stick and rudder kind of day. It's handling it well. Yeah, not bad. Landing! Landing! When you get your plane, you can. <laughs> yeah, this thing, even in the wind, it flies real good. It's a little light as a feather, though, for landings and stuff. So, you know, it's uh. Remember you saying like the pull up is a little too flat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good sounding. Yeah. All right, high speed pass over the runway. High speed for a Cessna anyway. That's a high speed Ranger fly pass there. High speed Ranger pass. Watch out for that hill there. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Had enough of that. Oh yeah, it is windy. It is windy. I got one setting of flaps. I'm still, I'm too hot. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it slowed down. I'm off. Power's off, yeah. Little squeak in action. Let me. Uh, I, I'm going to drive it back and go up again, Steve, because I just want to look at uh, the spinner and make sure the spinner's not coming off that little sound it's making. I'm going to go up again. I just want to check the spinner on it real quick. See that wobble, Steve? Yep. Remember that last time we had that happen? Yep. I think it's the toe on the wheels. Yeah. All right. Let me get my throttle kill real fast. Yep. Yeah, it is a direct crossroad. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, safety's off.
Take it off. Yeah, the wobble's gone. Not bad, not bad. I tell you, it's not bad in this wind. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't even do a knife edge that well either, but it'll it'll do it pretty much. I often do too. That wind is just beating it up, but man, it handles it okay. Watch out for that uh, wind stock out there. Yeah. I, almost hit that earlier. I haven't hit it yet, but you know. Oh, don't say yet. Yeah. There's always a first time for everything. And that tree right there too. I've almost nailed that a couple times. All right, let's get some flaps in. Let me bring it on in here if I can. Right crosswind. I'm going to go around. Actually, I'm going to do a touch and go. Just got to use your wing low. I'm not using full flaps. I'm just using one setting. I think it's probably too much flap for... All right, power's off. Actually, not bad. It's actually not too bad to land. I thought it would be kind of a handful, so let me drive it back. Steve, you want to go next? Sure. You can trim your nose gear with that. Yeah, I use that. All right, Steve. Gavin's got the radio. Here, get in on him. I want his word to switch. Hot switch. Can we taxi out? You want the hat? You good? Taxi All right, Steve's got it, and then we'll swap it over to Gavin. All right, Rich is on the camera once again. Folks, this is one of the nicest trainer slash aerobatic planes you can get. Take it off. Take it off! There you go. Nice, Steve. I'm about to fall over here. Get my stance. Everybody's going to notice that the camera's gotten wobbly all of a sudden because I'm filming. I'll try to straighten it out here a little bit. Yeah, I got him now. Yeah, you can really see that. Now, Steve, when you land that thing, you'll you're going to. Re it's really as a wing low method, so. Use that left rudder, and I was at idle landing. I only used one setting of flap, so it tends to want to nose over a bit with the wind and everything, so. But it's not hard. It shouldn't be too bad. Nice. You want to do a couple practice approaches and stuff? When, when you get a time, you do what you want, you're fine. We got a 5,000 Roaring Top 70C pack. Yeah, you get a good flight time out of this thing. So, Gavin's going to be up next. Yeah, and I was power off, Steve, to get it to come down. It really, it really is kind of... Yeah, just, just feel the waters with it, yeah. But I had to consciously really put left rudder in to get it to, to not drift. Or land in a crab. You definitely don't want to land a crab today. All right, landing. Landing. Really? Very nice, yeah. So you can probably taxi it back, see if you can turn it around. It's, it's probably good. The wheels on this thing are pretty. Hold that stick back, taxiing, yeah, so you don't. Do I have that nose? Uh, hey, Gavin, you want to run real quick and get it? Sure. On the field! There, go get it, buddy. Run, Forrest, run! Run, man! 
It's always good having a a young guy around to go do that yeah. stuff. <laughs> go, go, go. All right, there's Wes. Let's see, where is he at? There he is over there. This will make a great video. Yeah, just put it down. You want to go again? You want to swap him? Let him. You know, what's that? Okay, yeah. Good landing. That was nice. Yeah, very good. It'll just float forever, though. You know. Gavin, come on, buddy. Yeah, that's good. All right, man, you're up. Me? You're up. <laughs> Screw it up now. Ready? Oh, yeah. All right, there he goes. Gavin, I'm going to come play with you. Now, Gavin's flown this on the floats before. First time on the wheels. I'll launch the float video here when I get a chance. Yeah. Nice, man. Nice. All right, guys. Check out RC Informer on Instagram. Like and subscribe, guys. We do appreciate it. There's Kevin, club president, filming. I'm filming the vice president, or president, I should say, sorry. I, I reduced you in rank there for a moment, sorry, accidentally. So, are you live or are you just filming? Just filming. Just filming, okay, we're just filming too, so we'll, uh, we'll exchange videos later. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what Gavin's doing with this thing. All right, so there's Wesley and Gavin screwing around with my plane. That's okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Wesley's got the air tractor there. Gavin's got my FMS uh, Ranger. They look pretty compatible. Yeah. They're not too bad together. Nothing bad can happen with a high wing and a low wing plane together. Alright, here we go. So he's coming in, there you go. Touch and go. Left rudder, left rudder, left rudder, left rudder. Gotta use left rudder. Left rudder, buddy. Oh, you're good. I think you're okay. Yeah, you know, just bring it back and I'll bend it back. Here, just bring it back for a second. No, 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 that's okay. It's okay. You just have to use left rudder and a crosswind. I'll, I'll, have you ever done a low, wing low method landing? I'll show, I'll, show, I'll show you that. We'll talk about it. You can benefit from my expert tutelage. I'll, uh, I'll show you a little of that. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Use a little left rudder to line it up with the runway. There you go. And use a little right bank. There you go. There you go. Left rudder. There you go. <laughs> How did that gear get bent? It was from that touch and go. All right, bring it on back. I must have missed that touch and go. Steve, I'm going to hand you this. I was filming. Uh, here, just taxi on over here for a second. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, don't tip it. You can bring it right here. That's okay. It'll bend back. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. No, no, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Throttle cut. Uh, yeah, hit the yeah, hit the throttle cut. <laughs> I thought it was gonna roll a little further. No, you're okay. I wasn't watching when you did that. Oh man, you messed up my gear big time. What the heck? You got the safety on, by the way? Yeah. All right, you fly now. No, I'm gonna show you a couple things with it. Steve's gonna keep filming. You know, these are probably too tall to start with here. You know, it probably would be better to... That's probably too much. Well, that's okay. That's all right. You should make me do the work. All right. 
Have you done crosswood? Like God, I thought I was having a problem seeing, but there's smoke out here, isn't there? <laughs> I'm yeah. like, my vision's foggy. Have you done crosswind landings before? Like, understand the concept of it? Yeah. When you, when you got a crosswind like this, and this is your center line of your runway, when you got a crosswind, the airplane's going to fly in a crab. It's not going to fly straight down the runway unless you have a headwind. So if you got a crosswind, the airplane's going to be like this. Add a little rudder. So here's the thing. You don't want to touch down like this generally, yeah. okay, because it'll flip like it did. So here's what you need to do. You need, if it's a right crosswind, you got to put in left rudder to straighten it. But the wind is now going to drift you. Oh, a, little a little bit of aileron in there. And the idea is, is when you land, you're going to land that wheel first, generally speaking. I mean, if you can land it like that, great. But generally, you're going to. That's how you do a correct wing low method landing. You touch down with that, and you're constantly adjusting rudder and aileron okay. to get it to land straight. That's how you want to do it. You get into issues when you have airplanes like uh, 757s and stuff, when they have engines. When you have something like a like a Boeing airliner with engines, if you bank too much, you could scrape an engine, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, here let's uh, Steve. Let me check my battery real fast. Let's see if we got enough power to go back up. Here, let's see what we got. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, we're at 24 percent, you know. So we'll go get another battery. We'll get another battery. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. Give it up for Gavin flying. We'll get another battery and we'll go. Steve, thanks for filming. As always, guys, we'll see you next time.